what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is naninga hi it's been a minute and today as from the title you can you guys can actually see what the title says it says that i am showing you my updated beauty products or oh, basically this is a haul video these products i got them from various websites i couldn't be bothered i couldn't be bothered to do uh, a video for each and every website new year new me yeah i basically don't want this channel to be more of hauls i want this channel to be more makeup tutorials how to style use so stay tuned for the new year new me yeah so i have used a couple of the products and i'm going to give you a brief on the product looking at the products i can honestly tell you that they are a lot and i know some of you might judge me for that but it's not because of that my products are are over basically over so these things are justified babes and some of them i actually use them and i only use them once to recreate this makeup look so that i can give you guys a brief and i don't know whether the makeup look um is up already because as you know when you edit yeah but let's stop talking too much and just get into these products so as you guys can see first things first i know you guys are wondering why your lips dripping like that why are your lips dripping like that it's because of this lip oil that i got and i'm going to mention each and every website that i got the product from um if i get time i will link every product in the description box below but as i've said they are so many so i did get this product in november of last year which is 2022 as you know i live in kenya so you know things are kind of slow here the systems haven't picked up so i got the products in january so that's about two months of waiting for products but i'm happy they arrived and that's it okay some of them got severely damaged and i'm not gonna be bothered to return them but let's just talk about this product so my this lip oil that i got from i Heart travel so it looks like this look at that love heart Woohoo! and it's basically what i've used to apply on my lips as you guys can see my lips are dripping so i won't have to swatch that thank god um what i can say is that it feels very lightweight on the lips it doesn't have a taste and even the scent that is ha it has is very very minimal if you're the kind of person who is affected by scents i absolutely love it can't remember the name of the product but i think it is uh, i'm gonna write the name somewhere on this video yeah it's absolutely amazing one of my favorites because i've already tested it as i said i'm going to start with the products that i've already used and then we're gonna test the other ones and i'm telling you this video is gonna be long honey but i know that it's worth it okay so this is uh the rimmel kind and free uh foundation yeah and this is the shade deep mocha and as you can see it's the one i used to recreate this makeup look and i can tell you that this 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 particular foundation is going to be in your face everywhere if you follow me on this channel which by the way make sure you're subscribed to this channel before we even proceed with this video any further because i have so many good things in stock for you guys you'll be surprised it's 2023 i have so many good things in stock for you guys so make sure you're subscribed to this channel hit the red subscribe button down below and we'll be good to go and also hit the notification bell yeah so this is going to be in your face this year because i absolutely love it just look at the finish um as you guys know that i've been struggling with hyperpigmentation so this is not i'm just going to give you a brief overview of this uh rimmel kind of free foundation uh this is a, a skin tint right skin tints are really in more than full coverage foundations right now uh so it, as you can see my skin is speaking through it's not full 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 coverage because i've even applied powder on top of it so it's not completely full coverage but it's absolutely stunning. Yeah. so the next product is this sleek okay for the, the, the for this lip oil i get it from the asos website uh this rimmel kind and of free i got it from the boohoo website i was just kind of picking things from the websites that i actually i can buy clothes from and at the same time i can buy makeup from yeah so this sleek i got it from the boohoo website and this is the face form sculpting stick i'm yet to actually use it because i did try and use it for this look but i was not understanding i wasn't because it wasn't so visible and it's so okay that's just my foundation that went on it but i think i could swatch for you guys 
maybe you need to like really really rub it onto your skin so as you can see it looks black but in reality it's this color and this is the shade it's the sculpting stick and this is the shade tan tan to deep it's contrast shade for me not very harsh and just mild and it goes on like water yeah but i wouldn't say it's my favorite from what i have assessed but it does the job because it doesn't dry down you can blend it Another so product that I've also used is this, I got this at one pound to be honest and as you can see it's a very simple blush from Boohoo Beauty. Beauty. Boohoo I think launched their beauty brand and when I saw this it just reminded me it looks like the Fenty Skin packaging like just the simplicity and stuff although i haven't bought a fenty skin product but i've been seeing them yeah so when i saw it it reminded me of that and i bought this at one pound so and it says that it is um uh, i have used it but i was worried when it said that it's a sheer liquid blush so sheer and blush right now we don't really want sheer we want color pigment yeah but it did do uh, the job but i think if you have a lighter skin than me it will do a job better than as you can see that's how sheer it's it very is. sheer when i say sheer i mean it's sheer and they've even written sheer blush so um although you won't see that on the website but you know for one pound it's I okay you know, eyelash glue from the aliexpress website so that's great because that's the eyelash glue i always use i i had bought another um i hold eyeliner calm eyelash glue but what I realized about it is that sometimes it doesn't stick and it dries really fast. So you can't really um, use it uh, if you're kind of slow or if the lashes are messing you up a bit to slow you down. So I just got this lash glue from AliExpress. So that one I got from Ali. I also got this Revolution Pro uh, Supreme Stay 16 hour mattifying fixing spray. So this is just from the brand Revolution and I got this off the ASOS website and yeah in fact this some of uh, the products that i got of the asos website i bought them when it was my birthday and it was i was given a discount code by asos so i decided to use it on my birthday and that's when i ordered them which was november and my birthday is usually in november so you can imagine uh the products came around mid january exactly so months. this is the wonderful brow clear brow styling gel mascara and it did this brow it's clear and yeah you can use it on top of uh, you can see the brow is not moving and i've applied that really cheap uh eyebrow pencil that i normally use i think the one for 20 bob kenyans know it i think uh it's usually like 20 bob and the brows are not moving they're not moving so this is a good one so and then i use this brow gel which is clear just to apply on top and i'm happy with it so it's by rimmel that brow gel i got it off the boohoo website very affordable but i have also used it and i wasn't happy with it to be honest it does apply like butter but does it stay on especially if you're applying on your waterline so i got this white eyeliner which i think it swatches really easily as you can see but if you're buying it like to apply on your waterline or maybe it's just my eyes that are harsh who knows but it did apply and then it just slid off it just went away until i had to apply this purple one on top and yeah so but it was affordable i believe it was like three pounds or less so the products that i bought uh, the ones i bought from asos i bought with a discount code and the ones i got from boohoo i bought during the, their christmas sale so these products are mostly half off, three quarter off and all that. Talk about the destroyed ones. I also got in line with this Rimmel Kind and Free uh, foundation. I also got their mm, concealer, which is a lot. The bottle, okay, the bottle looks big. How many mLs is this? 7 mL. Let's compare with this Maybelline Fit Me, which is 6.8 mL. Okay, they're technically the same. But the bottle does look big. Yeah, so... um. I bought this kind and free uh concealer and this is in the shade tan i believe i believe it was tan i cannot see oh yeah it's tan and i have used this goes on like butter wrong shade for me too light for me but i you know with concealer you can get away with it and it's really easy to blend that's what i loved about it it's way easier to blend even more than the fit me 
so i love it and i'm excited too okay guys as i told you guys i'm always on a budget and i saw this serum it was on sale on boohoo yes the product is squished the product is squished but we understand during transportation and stuff so i got this face facts hyaluronic face serum and i got it at a dirt cheap price i think it was like three pounds or something of the sort so i have used it to like skin prep my skin uh, when I was I wanted a hyaluronic face serum I don't have wanted something that can moisturize my skin so it I used it to screen prep like for this makeup look and just also to test it out and it I mean it's hyaluronic serum I didn't see anything wrong with it and when it comes to skincare obviously long term results are best I wouldn't really be able to tell but it just looks like this and that I also got it off the Boohoo website as I said, it was their Christmas sale. And you're gonna see the things I got off that website. Amazing. Yeah, I don't know what's up. So I got this. Um, I love. I, I I think I only have two. No, I only have one. I had Revolution palette, and I absolutely love it. I love it so much because it's so affordable and it's so cute. You can tell the people who missed a stage in life, the young girl, girl makeup yeah like the ones who didn't apply makeup when they were like six years old that's me and yeah so i got this i had revolution birthday cake palette and this one was destroyed during transportation or they give me a bad one i don't know it was completely destroyed guys but i had to salvage it because there's no way i'm returning it because uh already i waited for two months so the wait time is not encouraging enough and they don't give you a refund in terms of money i think they just give you like a voucher to shop again so i was like i'm gonna make do with what i have you guys know that on this channel we don't waste anything i'm not going to I sal out. salvaged the the ones that remained oh dear it's so difficult to open all the good colors all the good colors bruh all the good colors went look at that all the good colors like all the glittery glittery stuff went <laughs> the only glittery color that remains my mom will make do with it so that's a uh, birthday cake one i bought it for my birthday because i just felt like why not i also wanted in the same line i got this uh i had revolution red velvet face palette now this red velvet face palette is supposed to have like a blush um a highlighter uh a contour no a bronzer shade and like two blushes i believe it's supposed to have two blushes a highlighter and a contour shade and i got the red velvet one and uh, blah it's destroyed as in for shades like fully destroyed like but anyway it's all good um personally i don't believe in like yeah i can't get angry over that because that's a small thing you know uh things come yeah and as i said i'll make do with what remained so that one it's only one of the shades that remained of blush and i did use by the way i did use it to apply this this blush here is what has remained in that red velvet palette the boohoo one was literally not visible on my skin and then this eyeshadow this purple one uh, it, it matches my nails like surprisingly i don't know i think the nails made me uh, like apply this eyeshadow i don't know so um this eyeshadow that you're seeing here i used this birthday cake palette i believe that i completely have finished the products that i've been able to use on my face and test them out yeah now we're going to move to the products that i'm unboxing fresh i've not swatched them i've not tested them i haven't done anything products are a lot but if you're a girl on a budget like me you know you know the tips and tricks follow me on this channel make sure you're subscribed i'll definitely tell you the tips and tricks that i use to buy stuff and stuff like now that. go with the products i got from asos first so this one is as you can see it's still in the bag I haven't opened them so i did get another concealer so i decided to get this next concealer and i'm really poor at picking concealer colors don't blame me i really wanted this next concealer because i've had people really really raving about it and i think this one i'll have to just like swatch it for you guys but this color looks really really light it looks like oh it's not that light it's the color it's the ring light in real life it doesn't look that light oh damn it's light it's light it's light 
yeah i think that's better so in real life it does look like that which is super light for me but it's okay it has gone on like butter and as i said even the rimmel one i got a really light shade for this rimmel this is a light shade you can see they are almost bumper to bumper but it's okay we'll make it work so i switched this studio photogenic concealer and this is the shade 6.5 which had a name it was like golden or something can't remember the name. this one is the revolution all black and prime primer so this one i'm also gonna like open it up because i need you guys to see what it is because i don't think i will review these ones i won't review them i'll just like use them and tell you whether they're good or whether they're bad so let me see what this revolution one is supposed to do is it a much fine primer it's just a blur and fill so it's supposed to like fill in any extra pores as you guys can see i'm very pory 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 ah it has color it just ah it has color it does it have color but look at it so i'm just gonna apply it and i'll tell you whether it has mm. yeah it's definitely a filler because it feels really thick feels like oh but it does dry up down to a matte finish it's like a powder i don't know it feels something odd like a liquid powder that's the word it feels like a liquid powder feels very nice actually like oh so smooth my hand feels so smooth you can't see it but it feels so smooth i love it i can tell i will love this one it's pore blur something something by revolution i love yeah, this and one. you guys know that in 2023 skin tints are it full coverage foundations out the window but you guys know that i'm a full coverage person any day but i still got the skin tints because why not yeah i've been battling skin i have i don't know i need to go for like laser or something so that these scars can be removed but anyway i bought this skin tint from l'oreal mm, it's like one percent pure hyaluronic acid and you guys know that at my age i need to definitely use hyaluronic acid products so one percent pure hyaluronic acid and this is the shade tan to deep it does look so right but uh i hope it will work so it is number seven to eight which is turned to deep plumping tinted serum i should have gone with the next color which was in there by the way that's why i think i got this one yeah it's kind of light but as you know me i will always make it work i will always mix things in there and make it work not bad huh but I'm supposed to do this with like a faceless less makeup on my face so I will definitely test this this one out for you guys using but I can tell I'll definitely like it because I did love the L'Oreal True Match foundation lightweight everything it does even smell the same as that other True Match foundation and this one is a bit lighter that one is a bit heavier and i absolutely think it's going to be okay now we are yeah there's a lipstick i have to swatch but i think i'll swatch that lipstick last should i swatch it last yeah i think so so we have this it came really squished uh this one i bought it okay for the boohoo products i bought them like around christmas time so i bought them in late november yeah so this one's i got them in late november they're supposed to be christmas gifts to myself which i'll still use them because it's not like eyeshadows are specifically for christmas uh and it's big it's big guys look at this this is like the size of my head and as i always say i have a big head because i'm tall but it's big and i love it so gorgeous this one i thank god it wasn't destroyed and i'm so happy like this one i was just crossing my fingers like god let it not be destroyed look at that look at that shade range what i'm just obsessed and it has like a giant mirror to it so it's it's absolutely stunning 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 i think i'm gonna swatch some colors for you guys because i what's the name of this it's called the nutcracker christmas set and i got it for half price 
yeah because it was the christmas sale i got it for half price instead of 20 pounds i paid 10 pounds for it so i think the color that i will love the most is this this color is this gold here this this oh thank god i don't have like a good brown and this brown here yes i'm so happy because you guys can see i've just touched and it's very very pigmented so let me no why am i not seeing the brown what have i swatched oh yeah there it is very very pigmented the set that comes i love this oh look at that look at how it reflects light oh yes yes anyway the reason i absolutely love this i heart remunition products is that their stuff is just too cute and as a girl as a as a she woman what's better than this so i also got uh that set that nut cracker set has two lip glosses so it comes with that eyeshadow palette and two lip glosses for 10 pounds so it was worth the buy and this looks like one doesn't have color to it and this one is pinkish Oh, this is the mask is. Ah, the liquid amazing. We are going to swatch the pink one first. No, the liquid one. I should always start with the colorless one. That way, you guys can get a true picture of what it looks like. Okay. You know, it's thick. It's thick. It's not like a lip oil. It's a gloss. Ooh, I like it still. Yeah, you'd actually think I've put on makeup and I haven't, so this is a win. I like it, very simple. It really doesn't have a smell. So weird. Good, maybe. Okay, so that one is done. So I'm just, I'm gonna swatch the pinkish one. Yeah, those are the Nutcracker pieces. The two glosses and the eyeshadow set. Now for the last thing, finally it's long and I can't imagine editing it. So make sure you're subscribed and you like this video and also comment down below what was your favorite product, which product you'd actually love to try out. Now I'm gonna tell you which one is going to be my favorite, but now last but definitely not the least the nail. Maybelline vinyl, vinyl ink. Yeah, they're just vinyl inks. Yeah, and this is the shade. They're, it was a bit hard choosing a shade. Rain, a shade, because they didn't put the actual names of the shades in on the website, yeah. So this is the shade Royal, and thank God it was Royal, because I really, really wanted Royal. I either wanted Royal or Wicked, but the name Wicked put me off, so I got Royal. So guys, this is the shade Royal. You need to give it a good shake um, and then apply it. So I am. Um, a lot comes out, guys. A lot comes out on the applicator, so you don't need to double dip. This light is not doing it justice. I'll just show you, like in daylight. Yeah, I think this is more of the color than with the ring light. Oh, I think it's so pretty. It does look shiny, but that's just how it is. It's not supposed to look matte. It's matte. It feels matte on the lips. Looks like I've applied a lip gloss when actually there's no lip gloss I've applied. It's just the lipstick. I love it absolutely Ugh, gorgeous i think my favorite products from this entire haul has to be this so it has to be this nut cracker palette and when it comes to foundation i really love this you know kind of free i also love the a uh, hyaluronic one it looks like it's going to be stunning and amazing but i think i love everything on that i got apart from the few that i've mentioned that i like 
didn't work out when I was doing this makeup look. But so far, I'm really happy with everything I got. It's sad that the two palettes broke the red velvet palette and also the uh, birthday cake palette. I'm so sad that they broke, but there's nothing I can do about it other than get another one later or another day. So I'm so happy with everything, guys. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel because I post content twice a week, which is on Monday at 6.30 p.m. East African time and on Friday at 8 p.m. East African time. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Have a fabulous day, evening, whatever you're doing. Bye!